tonight's cavalcade of sports features. Welcome to the fight of the week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of boxing's all-time greats, continues on the comeback trail as he takes on stylish Dennis Moyer in the feature attraction of 10 rounds or less at Madison Square Garden. Robinson, frustrated in three previous attempts to win back one of the middleweight crowns, sincerely believes that at age 40 he still can do it. Moyer will try to prove that he can't. Robinson, the amazing New Yorker, is unquestionably one of the great fighters of all time. In a 21-year career, he has fought 157 times and lost but nine with three draws and one no contest. He has rolled up 144 victories, scoring 93 knockouts. Along the way, he won the welterweight title, which he relinquished undefeated and won the middleweight crown five times. He was winning the light heavyweight championship when he collapsed from the heat at the end of the 13th round, the only time he has failed to go the distance. Moyer should prove whether or not Sugar Ray still has it. The 22-year-old from Portland, Oregon, has won 30 of his 35 fights, scoring eight knockouts. His first loss came at age 19 when he failed to take the welterweight championship from Don Jordan. Moyer, who boxes well, has never been down on the canvas. Robinson is 5 feet 11, while Moyer is 5 feet 8. At the New York Commission weigh-in today, Robinson came in at 159 and 3 quarters, while Moyer was 157. In just a few minutes, a 10-round middleweight fight between Sugar Ray Robinson and Dennis Moyer will get underway. Well, the ring is pretty well filled with celebrities. As you can see, uh, Sugar Ray Robinson is in the corner to our right, and Dennis Moyer on the left, and here is the very popular, very personable Johnny Addy. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the hard-punching Detroit middleweight who will box in New Haven Monday night. Let's give a nice hand. Henry Hank. Henry Hank, Detroit, Michigan. The former welterweight champion of the world, the popular Amo Griffith. The undefeated young heavyweight from Miami Beach, Florida, who will box the main event here on November the 18th with a suitable opponent. Undefeated, 27 bouts. Tony Alonghi. Tony Alonghi. And here's the popular West Side light heavyweight who is undefeated in all his professional bouts, Doug Jones. Doug Jones. Doug Jones is fighting Henry Harold Johnson tonight, for the title in December. Middleweight champion of Argentina, Farid Salem, will meet Ted Wright of Detroit in the feature attraction of 10 rounds. Now here are the ring officials assigned by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Johnny Gran and Bill Reck. Timekeeper is George Bannon. With the eye shade. Counting for the knockdown is referee Johnny Colin. And your referee for the main event, Bonnie Felix. Ten rounds from Portland, Oregon. Wearing black trunks. Weighing 157, Denny Moyer. Moyer. <laughs> from New York City. Wearing white trunks. The former welterweight and middleweight champion, he weighs 159 and three quarters, the Sugar Ray Robinson. The crowd of about 8,000 braved the rain. I want to claim Bob, when I ordered a break, stop punching and step back. In the event of a knockdown man that goes down, must take an eight count. Man standing up, goes to the neutral corner, don't continue boxing there, try to do so. Now shake hands, come out boxing. Scoring here in New York on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system. If the rounds come out even on a card, there's a mandatory eight count if a man is down. The three knockdown rule, uh, if a man is floored three times in a round, he is out. Moyer, the black trunks, Robinson and White. Robinson has about three 
inches in height. He's giving away a lot of years to his 22-year-old opponent. Some say Sugar Ray is 40, some say he's 41. Ray's last bout in the garden four and a half years ago when he lost the crown to Gene Fulmer. Robinson's stance seems to be just a little bit wider tonight than usual. Note how wide a stance it is. So fighting a bit more flat-footed at the moment. Robinson figures he can win this fight two ways. Quick by a knockout or by a decision if he has to go the limit. He'll try for a quick knockout, then map the strategy otherwise if he sees he may not score it. Moyer, if he wins, figures to win by a decision, judging by his past record. Robinson got set to throw a ball and pulled it back. One minute to go in round one. I'll say this about Moya, he's not the least bit awed about whom he's in there with. As you can see, is a good counter puncher, and he's known as a spot hitter. He picks his spot. Ten seconds to go in round one. Coming up Madison Square Garden, Ray Robinson up. White trunks, Danny Moyer the black. Robinson wanted to end it with one fell swoop. Now this uh, Moyer may have a baby face and be only 22 years old, but he's tough and he, he's hardy. And up until now has taken a good punch with the best of them, the likes of Ortega and Griffith and Benny Kip Perez. Me, all of whom he has beaten, and he lost also to Griffith. And he's got youth going for him. In the past, Robinson has always done well with this type, the boxer type. He's had trouble with the uh, Crowder, like Marty Servo and Jake LaMotta, Gene Fulmer, Carmen Basilio.
strike superior boxing. This is it. left jab has been the difference. There's the bell ending round two. Let's look at the men in the corners. In Robinson's corner, we have the Emperor George Gainford. He's leaning